Hello. We are live now. We're live now. I thought I'd invite someone along. He found him wandering the streets. Well, I popped in for a coffee. <laughs> I didn't I made, I made, I made him a coffee. Just pass me a drink. As you can see, I'm, I'm joined coffee. by uh, Mr. Simon Brass, colloquially known as Dog Bomb. By very few people. On the interwebs. Very few people. That's what most of your lawsuits are made out of. That's what Dog most Bomb. of my lawsuits make <laughs> reference to, yes. So we are going to, uh, together, re- recognise that I've got. I need a haircut. Look at that. You do need a haircut. I didn't want to mention anything because we're live, but. <laughs> you do need a haircut. We're going to go through the next games on my top 100 list of all time. Can I, can I just say that's your top 100? Yes. you have got nothing, to do, nothing with to do with it. Although you have played some of these games. I have played the games. With me. But I wouldn't put them in my top 100. No. Yours would be Risk and Monopoly. Yes. Oh, sit burn. Okay. Number. Oh, we're not even on the right. Where are we? Professional. Professional. Is that right? Yeah, with this end, I went backwards. <laughs> Fancy Realms is number 80. Fancy Realms is a small box game. Mm-hmm. Deck of cards, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, drafting game, mm-hmm. but it does get better as you play it more and become aware of the cards. Kind of game, if you've played it and Muggins hasn't, you're going to win. Yeah. We'll go straight into the... Uh, Bad reviews, which will probably echo some of your comments. Probably would, yes. Uh, and then we'll go to some images. Okay. Uh, remember, this uh, little technique of reading bad reviews is borrowed from Nick from Board Game Brawl. I don't know if he does many videos anymore, though. I don't know. I stole it. Just steal it. He cherry picks them, though. Not me. <laughs> Broken. Key mechanic revolves around making cards blank. But then you still have to apply the non-existent text from the blank cards to resolve your hand. That bit is confusing. I so I looked at your list and I can't remember this game. I have played it, but I can't remember. I don't know if that says anything, whether it's good or bad. I'm now going to look at these images and yeah, yeah, I sort of remember it now. So what you you're trying to get a collection a collection in your hand that gives you the best possible score. But the 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 bit that I like comes from the uh, as as with games. Yeah. The decisions you're making are, do you keep a safe score of 50 or something with Mm -hmm. the card you've got, or do you risk it to complete one of these sets? Like, this gives you plus 15 with any one wizard. That's Mm. safe, but a low score. Okay. Um, I've forgotten it again. I've looked at the pictures, and I remembered it. An army wizard and another leader. Okay. But there's one, that, that one, plus 100 with the Book of Changes, Bell Tower, and any one wizard. There's only one Book of Changes and one Bell Tower. Wizards are slightly more common. Um, but the, the other thing is, when you discard a card, because you can only always have seven cards, mm-hmm. unless you get a card that lets you break that, there's mm-hmm. only one. So you, you discard them to the uh, to a tableau. Okay. When that reaches ten cards, that's the end of the game. Yes. So if you've got a card, hand you're happy with, you can start rushing people. and But everyone else can draw from that tableau or the top of the deck. So it's like... If I discard this card and they're looking for that exact card, mm. they'll be all over it like a nun sandwich. So, <laughs> so the more, the more, the more you tell me about the game, the less I remember it. That's good. Which, which, yeah, is, is a bad thing with that. I got a lot of small box card games though, and I think it takes a lot to to really, really stand out. Yeah, um, yeah. I think um, some of the ones you've bought recently since Star Date two thousand eighteen, when I made this list, yeah, uh, would would probably go higher than this. And the biggest downside for this is this score sheet. <laughs> and I do remember that. I do remember the score sheet. And that was one of the criticisms uh, you see, is it takes as long to score as it does I think to... It, I think it took longer. ...to play. I think it took longer. Yeah, probably. Let's go down and see 79, which is Solenia. A very pretty box. The art is Vincent Dutre. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Or Dutras. As he likes Dutre. to be called. No, no, he likes, to, he likes to be known by his name. Well, that's not what he said to me. That's, no, he likes to be known by his name. Or dog bomb in certain circles. <laughs> Tell me it was Dutras. Certainly. Right, bad comment. This wins my most disappointing game of BGG 2018 award that I just made up right now. I like people making up awards. Mm-hmm. I was looking forward to this game as I appreciate the designer and the art, but it just fell flat. It's a chaos euro. But more the former. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Chaos Euros is one of the armies from Games Workshop. 
I wouldn't know. I don't know that ever played a Chaos Warrior. Yeah, well, t- take it red then. It's got very little in the way of strategy and almost entirely tactics, which can be fine, but the lack of planning is rough. Also, the rule book was a bit rough in that it had two things that happen immediately but doesn't mention which immediate results first. We played the winter variant with skill tiles. I'd rather play the full game than not most of the time, except uh, when you're learning Caverna, I find. Hmm. Would not play again. One of the other four players who likes Theme and Chaos really enjoyed it. So it's not a bad game, obviously. Bad enough for you to rate it a three, to be fair. But it seems more like they designed a crazy party chaos game. <laughs> and just have it to... Yeah, I wouldn't call it a party game. Selenia nope. is very beautiful to look at. Here's this um, board. I will give him that the rules are confusing for su- such a short rule book. Yeah. Uh, but then my first game was played with Mark and we moved the ship. And it kept going up, 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 up. And then we moved the board. Whereas the ship actually stays the same Stays place same, and the yeah. board moves around it um, I quite, I thought there was quite a lot of planning I, I, it wouldn't have breached my top 100 if I hadn't played the more advanced variant with you that's the one that I played yeah um, where you can actually um, edit your you can, cho- you can choose your upgrades more strategically um, so I think there is and you can even kind of jump up a little bit mm. so you've got your airship here this is the base variant but on the advanced side, you can have customised ones. We didn't even add that in, actually. We just played with the ones that were printed. So there's another variant on top of that. It is. It can be a little bit fiddly, uh, changing the resources, though. But generally, yeah. you're building up at least four or five to get a good score, scoring one. You slot them in the slots here, get a bonus, carry on. Um, it probably did win some other people over with these cards with the holes in the middle. That was great. You Loved can it. spin them on your finger. Loved it. Um yeah, it's not gonna. It's not heavy. Yeah, I didn't find it chaotic. No, I didn't. I found find it. it I found it frustrating. There was times when it was like that. There was a little bit of loss of control as you were playing through it. Yes, if, um, if it was frustrating, but it wasn't chaos. The yeah, it wasn't the chaotic part again. It's kind of almost accidental interaction. Yeah. Whereas someone plays the best move for them, which then shifts the whole board down, and then you can't get to that one resource that mm-hmm. you needed. Um, certainly early game when you haven't got any powers. I yeah. think, uh, c- can you use, I, don't, I can't remember if you can use resources as wild in this. I don't think you could. I don't think you could trade in two for one, could you, which, no. which would have helped with that. Yeah. Um, but there's a nice effect to kind of balance that, is if you've got loads of cards on the bottom one, mm-hmm. when someone shifts the board down, you get the bonuses from those. So you yeah. can kind of stack it in, in preparation of that. But yeah, there can be times when it's, it's hard to know where to go because you're only allowed to go next to an existing card or the airship unless you start paying the resources. Would you be are. in my top 100? Well, you know, we can't all be perfect. I know, we can't all be <laughs> perfect. Like I say, it did. It made a massive jump for me after that game. After that game where we played with the That's variant. more the company though, isn't what it? Was, That's more the people you're playing with. It, Despite the company, it jumped up um, because of that variant. And it might have been, it might have gone out of the collection if it wasn't for that. Okay. Interestingly, okay. we've moved on to number seventy-eight, which is the fantastic Ponzi scheme. I'm not going to get any rubbish off you on this. Well, I am, but you are like, probably being yeah. too low. Too low. Yeah. Too low. Seventy-six. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Yeah. Seventy-six. There been no problem. We've not had seventy-six. Yet. I know, but if, if oh if, no, well, it's way. <laughs> too, this is way, way higher. What's this in for you, top? Ponzi scheme, I would probably put definitely be on the top fifty. Okay. Ponzi scheme, I, I think it's a beautiful game. Top it's... top forty nine. <laughs> <laughs> don't push me on it. I don't know. Well, here be, we go. It will be up there. So some people disagree with you. This is a boring game. Even if you don't go bankrupt, you'll feel like probably feel like you've lost. It's not even fun. And then another person. Mm. Worst game of two thousand and sixteen, definitively. In addition to being dry, fiddly and mathy, this game puts one player, the one who just happens to be forced to take the first large loan with either a short due date or a large interest rate, in the horrible position of knowing they're going to go bust and lose the game, and that they have absolutely nothing they can do about it. Even more, they are then in a position to play Kingmaker. Kingmaker! And since there's nothing else they can do to further their own game, why not? Horrible, horrible, horrible. Wrong. Did I mention this game is horrible? Wrong. Yeah, I have a, I have a few issues with that. Firstly, yeah, wrong. you're all going to go bankrupt. Yes. That's the point of the game. You're yes. all going to go bankrupt. You all have to take horrible loans. Mm-hmm. Secondly, um, I've brought up this little board here. This is an example of the board. 
So generally, the ones on row three are going to give you more money, but at a higher return rate, mm -hmm. generally. Mm -hmm. um, these are slightly less risk. I mean, not these are not even nice. These are the nicest cards you'll see in the game, in fact. <laughs> you know, well, ones yes. where you're paying back yeah, less yeah, than yeah, you yeah. take. So you have to take a um, stock token, and these stock tokens are the, the way you score points, ultimately. Mm -hmm. But you can only take, at the same time you take, you then take from the row, depending on which level. level of stock you have in that company. So yeah, if you go and get yourself a stock token in each of the companies straight away, you're going to be more restricted. But essentially, last time we played, I after two or three rounds, I had a, I, I had for the first round after the first round I had a choice of the top two rows. So that's mm -hmm. six cards every time. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, I had a choice of all nine essentially, mm -hmm. depending on what I wanted to pick. Now there's more to it than that because of the way you uh, what are they the clandestine deals. Yeah, well I think that's that's the beauty of it, and that's yeah. what makes it not that um, race to going bankrupt because you're making deals with the presumption of if they take this deal, I'm safe. Yes. And there's there's often a deal that you'll make where you're thinking. They, they have to refuse this deal so I get double my money back yeah. to keep me afloat. I just, I just drifted off in memory of our last game yeah, while yeah. you were talking. We played it recently. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I still got really fond memories of it. I, 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 I think I always lose. I don't think I've ever won one. I don't think you've ever won one. No, no. No. Which is you, partly why it I does play it to your, Yeah, <laughs> It does play to your skill of making people bid. You, you're quite good at making bids that people go, I... That is enough to make me want to accept it yes. and possibly too much that I want to give him the same amount back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the clever thing is you can see when someone's going to have a really difficult round because this wheel that everyone has will turn round at least once. Mm -hmm. But if you manage to make the market crash, which you can have quite a lot of control yeah. over at some point, it will go around twice, scooping up the card. So if this was going around once, this person would have to pay 28 but if it goes around twice, they'll have to pay another 12, so that's 40. Look at that mental arithmetic. Mm -hmm. It was wrong, um, but yes, well done. 38, 50. <laughs> Carol Vordman, I'm coming for your job. She still does that, right? No. No. Uh, well, okay. Uh, but then also, they know that in a maximum of three turns, they're going to get 102. Oh, let's, 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 uh, can we throw this up? Let's see. Hang on, we've got a little comment. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, Watch this. Can't see the comments. Boom! Proud to be your only viewer. Thank you. If, if you're even still here. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> so, um, Ponzi, I get 500 after publishing, mate. Do you? 500? 500, 500, 500 viewers of at least three seconds. Okay. <laughs> so That's me. You know, I just 500 turn, times. Yeah, 500 times. A random three seconds each yeah. time. So, you can kind of mess people up um, you you can kind of gamble on, which I did badly last time. Yeah, yeah. Trying to make other people make worse decisions than you. I think that's what happened to me last time. I think everybody looked at my um, yes wheel, and they decided that if the thing goes bankrupt, I'm bust and I would end the game. Yeah. Um, and everybody banked on that, and everybody started making deals yeah. with me to try and trash me. Yeah. Which actually helped me because it meant I could you got enough. get enough money and and stay afloat and win. And then someone else. I can't remember who went bankrupt. It was you, mate. It was me. It was you. <laughs> Let's go on to 77. Which is a battle for Rukugan. Let's not mess around. Let's go straight into the comments. Mate. Here we go. This one. It's like shittier risk. Oh. Pardon me for the language. I'm just reading. Wholeheartedly agree. Bland colours, mediocre tokens, tedious and a bore. Now, I really like this one. It's totally different to... Risk. <laughs> it's not. It's not different to risk at all. To everything else I've played. My biggest complaint was the size of the tokens. They're tiny. They were tiny. They are tiny. They are tiny. And you are so, used the tiny things. So you're you're randomly drawing six tokens from your supply. Mm -hmm. These will have a front and a back, and depending on you put them face down. Um, but there's certain rules about where you put them. It's actually a bit more complicated than it. Yeah, yeah. Than... That, well, that's why I tripped up. The first game we played, yes. I completely messed up. Yeah. Nick went through all the rules beautifully, as he always does. And I... 67% of the Completely time. ruined putting these tokens down. I thought they could go anywhere on the board. And which they, which they can, as a bluff. Yeah, they can, but... <laughs> but I, it meant that you were turning over your tokens and go, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. Which would have been funny for you when we defended those tokens, needlessly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, the rest of the time, yeah. 
Yeah, and the other disappointing thing was Mark actually grokked it. He totally grokked it. And yeah, won. And, and won. Um, but the, it, it, it's more of a bluffing game than a war game in many ways. Mm -hmm. And um, I, was, I was just really taken with it. Um, that was annoying. <laughs> Punching out all those that, yeah. tokens. Um, but I think it does need... A, uh, I, I need to get it back to the table. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Ooh, bags. Another excuse to accessorise. Um, but yeah, it, it, there's a lot in the box as well for a small box. There um, is, yeah. Kind of gave, gives you the rising sun vibe with that picture with the screens and stuff and yeah. the, the obviously the, the uh, theme. And, and I think maybe that's why I didn't really enjoy it that much. There's, you, yeah. there's better bluffing games and I think there are mm. better map control, area control games. Yeah. I don't know where rising sun is on my list. Is it higher than Battle for Rokugan? Maybe. Good. <laughs> As it should be. Spoiler. As it should be. So, um, yeah, probably a bit of a, um, a quiet taste, that one. I, I've seen Marmite comments about it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Some people hate it. Yeah. So now number 76. Gizmos! Everyone's favourite gremlin. Unless it's... No. Second, I like Spike. You like Spike? Yeah. Because that's the one that got the spider legs. No, it's all with the spike, mate. That's... Yeah, but didn't he grow spider legs in Gremlins 2? I have no idea. Nobody ever watches Gremlins 2. Scariest film I saw as a kid. <laughs> what, Gremlins 2? <laughs> yeah. Someone asked, someone asked me at school, what's, what's the most scary film you've ever seen? And I just went, oh, Gremlins 2. And he looked at me and went, that's a comedy. Yeah, it is. And then punched me in the film. face. Christmas have film. Christmas film. Have you not seen Dr. Giggles? I've seen Die Hard. I didn't mm. like this very much. The marble contraption is huge and unnecessary. If he thinks that's huge, he's right. The decisions are pretty straightforward and the engine is boring. Uh, um, I liked it. The most annoying thing about the marble contraction is it does it, you have to put that screen on the top each time and I'm worried that it, it will demolish it will, itself. It will overbend. Like the pyramid in um, Camelot. That kind of situation. Yeah, you don't have to take that one apart, do you? No, but the rubber bands go. Rubber bands do degrade. And, yeah. They've plastic that up. No? They have plastic that up. And Is that on your list? Camel up. Yeah. Maybe. And they've plastic up the potion explosion. Explo ex <laughs> the potion expletive okay. um, marble dispenser, too. Um, so, uh, Gizmos, yeah, I. I was really taken with it and I didn't play it for a while. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, do Wingspan's coming out. Then I played Wingspan and I really like that. I was like, do I need that and that? But I decided I do. Okay. It's a bit more complicated than Wingspan in terms of understanding it. But maybe, it lets you create maybe not. Maybe just the file yeah. and all the, you know. I yeah, suppose, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I maybe, suppose maybe that not. is the equivalent. You do have the four tracks in a way, don't you? Yeah. But um, a filing and archiving was... That was the thing I didn't get my head around at first. But I like the bigger engine. I like the fact that when I grab a marble, I can dip my hand in another five times if I, if I built like it up right. Dipping. You do like triple and, and Unfortunately, uh, everyone else goes to the ones that give them points yeah. and then wins. Yeah. And I've got a handful of marbles. <laughs> and I'm, I'm who's, the, who's the real winner? Me. Who's the real winner? <laughs> And the marbles were better than in the uh, potion explosion. Better they, were. they were more plasticky, but they were pretty. They were, um, yeah. I've only played this once. I, Sorry, I, all, I found it all right. All right. Yeah. You thought it was better than Ponzi scheme, though. I did not think it was better. <laughs> <laughs> it's way, way, way not is, better than Ponzi. That is scheme. literally what you said. You, you sat there and went, "I already like this better than Ponzi scheme." Oh, pronounce that for me. Kutyuk. That's what the Hungarian name is. I think that should be the name in every language. That should be. Could you? <laughs> Let's go to 75. Man alive, it's Flam. Flam Rogue. What? I've done the wrong way round. He's done it wrong. I haven't even got Forenze. He's done it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, Forenze. Forenze. We didn't even put that one in. It's no, Forenze. Count. Lucky we're live, so I can just smooth this, smooth this over. Smooth. Right. That. Let's find a rating. Forenze. Forenze. Uh, so the title is going to say, oh no, the title's right, I just didn't look it up. What a, what a moron. You didn't spot it I'm not, I'm not got a coffee. Oh, I love ones like this. Are you, are you thirsty? I'm really thirsty. I'd love a coffee, mate. Thanks for offering me one. Board Deck and Dice is sponsored by Pepsi Cola. Based on one play, I'm already not liking this comment, at SM 2010, a decent, 
I'm confused, intermediate weight game. Action selection with random set collecting, in this case levels or towers in various colours. Nothing overly innovative, but it comes together as a game to be periodically played. Update. Drop from 7 to 2. Oh. Screwage so punitive that one card can completely collapse your game. Ugh. Balance. He's had a bad game, hasn't he? He's had a bad game. He's had one bad game and he's, he's gone in and he's... <laughs> I'm saying here, it could be you, it could be you. Played a game you online, you cat. Worst Euro game I've ever played. I simply do not get the game at all. In fact, I'm tempted to rate this as a 1. Defies the description of a game. It is the bad. It is the bad. It is the bad. It Bang. is the bad. This is one you haven't played. I've never played it. Let me win I've you over. It. Friends. You are... Uh, friends, friends, eh? You're trying to build towers on your board, uh-huh. right? And these columns tell you, give you points. So if you get level 3 or whatever, purple, mm-hmm. you get that many points. Mm-hmm. Um, and you put your little scroll on it and no one else can get it. But okay. there's certain bonuses and ones. But it's all done through card play which you do through the kind of century spice thing. If you want to take the first one, it's yeah, yeah. free. If you want to take this one, you have to put blocks on all the ones. And, uh, you know, and certain blocks, obviously the purple blocks, desirable, more points. But mm-hmm. you could build five or six little white towers and get sure. the bonuses from that. Yeah. So it's quite simple. And there's some more cutthroaty cards you can throw in. Mm-hmm. Um, in the new version, the blocks stack really nicely they've got this little triangle pointier bit beautiful yeah let's see if we can get a zoom in it looks pretty it looks pretty it is it's um it's it's it, it's the blocks are pretty yeah yeah it looks pretty <laughs> there look all right yeah, yeah um, I get that and so you would draw a card in your hand and potentially building some towers um and then claiming them if you wish but if you don't wish you can keep trying to go up to the higher level so ah. there an eight in purple is 14 mm-hmm. but there isn't very many purple blocks, so someone might scupper you. Um, so it's a bit of a race to build towers and get points. Okay. Um, it plays a lot more simply than it first appears, and uh, just have a nice time playing it two-player, work two-player. I'd like to play it three or four-player sometime. Well, let's play it two-player. Let's, 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 let's play it now. Let's call let's this off. It. Let's call this off. Uh, well, first we have to reveal the surprise game that is 74 <laughs> that hasn't at all been spoiled. Is it Flam Rouge? It's like you read it off the screen, mate. Flam Rouge! The bicycle game. People enjoy it, mm-hmm. but it looks lame and reviews Luke. Now, Luke. we'd like to find the review of Luke that Flam Rouge the game has done. I'm assuming that's the Broken Meat. It must be the Broken Do you know any other Luke's I who play board games? Luke Pryor. Yes. Yes. We'll find out. We'll find out which Luke has been reviewed by Flan Rouge, and we'll see what that review says. Played once. One. One. But it didn't feel like winning. It felt like whining. Just the pun I threw in. It was total chaos. The iconography is not intuitive. Which runner and which sprinter goes where? Now, there was an issue with the first edition. Yeah, that's the one I played. Um, but in my edition, they have little, the letters are painted on white on the back. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't have that. And one is stood up, and one is crouched over it in just, a cycle racing position. It was it was badly painted, or it was, it was just a second to look slightly closer to work it out. The most important thing is not to waste space. Say you want your sprinter to race nine this turn, and he is blocked by others, and he cannot pass. You have lost the race. Mm, not necessarily. Mm. Not if you draft and drift well. Not if you draft and drift. Do you drift in bicycles? You draft and drift. Yeah, yeah, you really draft, yeah. In effect, it's rolling 10 dice for luck, discarding anyone's rolls, some of the pips, whoever scored the highest is declared winner. Except that FR, which I think is a clever abbreviation for Flam Rouge, costs every participant two hours of their lives more. More than. More. More than rolling <laughs> more. dice. More than rolling dice. Uh, obviously, I think that's an overly harsh review. I've had a lot of fun every time I've played Flam Rouge. I've played it with people who actually ride bicycles as well. Oh. Um, here's a lovely painted version. I'm not sure what the iconography is. It's just numbers. Does he mean on their board? There's Yeah, there's only numbers on cards. And yeah. The nice cards. On the board, there's some hills and stuff. Yeah. But you don't have to play with them straight away. Nope. Um, I really liked it. It's clever. You've got... I mean, that's, that's not clever. <laughs> that's not clever. That's boring is what that is. <laughs> that game will go on forever. There's no finish yeah. line. I see their mistake. <laughs> and you want to hold back some of your big cards. 
you don't want to go out in front you don't want to be the out in front racer for the majority of the race because mm -hmm. the ones at the front get punished with twos yeah um yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I I think it's a fine game, and I've got the expansion. I think it's good. Um, it's, Here we go. It uh, wouldn't be in the top hundred. Well, no, it's a. <laughs> it wouldn't be in the top hundred. To be fair, it wouldn't. Uh, it's a bit light. It is it's light. a little yeah. bit overly light. Yeah, I've got um, I've got weather for it now. I think that might improve it. Well, there's another bicycle game which you've not played. It's German and. Clacken lacken. Yeah, clack and lacken. Dispoken. Can't remember. It won't spiel the jars. I know the one you're talking about. The I know yellow you're box. Yeah. Yellow jersey. Is that what it translated to? Can't remember. No. It's definitely not yellow jersey. Anyway, that one. Um, I prefer I prefer it to that. I th Look, um, doesn't which... Blooming this have a related Probably, thing? Probably, yeah. Where was but it? I don't think it's related. Fans also like, is that what it is? No, it's not Bunny Kingdom, no. It's not Bunny Kingdom. I thought it was a new... Uh... I can't remember. A new thing. Somebody will remember. Somebody will post it in the comments. Hang on, more. One of your oh, avid it is. watchers it is. will post it in the comments. Hang on, someone said that I'm no, not, no stranger to handling tiny things, which is rude. Somebody will post it in the comments. Uh, the name of it. Literally none of those. No. Let's move on. It's an old game. It is old. I remember I, I, I remember yeah. while we're talking about the 73. Sulkin. 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 And here, it's a very exciting moment for me in my detectiving. Uh -huh. We've discovered a third comment in what I'm calling the conspiracy low ranking Eurogames gate. Mm. Or something can catch here. Mm. <laughs> no, I've got nothing. Got nothing. Got Good. nothing. Fro fro frozen flesh. I'm not sure it was him last time. On Eurogames, this person is coming. I came here because of all the people rating mature themed games like Kingdom Death Monster I hate with the one just because of their mature theme. This game scene is boring. Mm. They've said that on, I think it was Lagrange. It was either Lagrange or Five Tribes last time. And then in my first ten, there is, uh, it's Caverna. So, mm. let's see if we get at least one in every ten. So excited. I think he needs calling out on it. Yeah, we're going to do a yeah. investigation. We're going to send him a message. Opening. Let me see a thorough investigation on it. Where is it? Send private message. Subject Euros. Just live. This is live. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mr. Flesh. Think that I am currently doing a live. <laughs> run down. This is starting to is this, be. Is this how you get your viewers? A hundred games. <laughs> Login of all time as of 2018. Mm -hmm. That makes. Glad sense. you clarified that. Thank you. I have had fish and chips for breakfast. <laughs> I have had. Tell them that you've put Ponzi scheme at 78. Game in each of my first three. Top <laughs> ten, top uh, first my three ten. I don't. Know. Oh, you don't know how to say this, do no, you? I say it. I'm just gonna put that out. So far, <laughs> I am thirty games in. There you go. Yeah, you got this. It's like sitting next to Oscar and Wilde. Come across and discovered <laughs> three reviews from you. For Euro games, rated one star. Oh, I don't like that space. Right, right star. Right star. Star. Rated right, right, one star. Because you like mini games. By which I mean <laughs> games with miniatures. Can't spell clarify that. Matches, not games that are from Oink. Are diminutive. Essentially, what he's nature. done is he's spent a lot of money on Kingdom Death Monster and a lot of money on Hate, Please. and now he's upset. Could you explain yourself? I've just explained them. To he spent a lot of money. My view. This is make him cry. Yes, viewer, that shouldn't be pluralised. Many thanks. Nicholas. Nick. 
send. That's done. I'm glad. I'm, I, I hope your reply is during this live stream. <laughs> Let's see if it pops up. Uh, I see this as a title as a representation of a very sad trend in board game mechanical convolution for no apparent reason. Well, not particularly difficult to reduce the wheels. Reduce the wheels? I mean, is he cooking them? Does he like reduce the sauce? Mm. The game is ultimately just vying for big corn in two player and big corn versus crystals in three plus, varying on what goes on what goes on most what goes most contested. Imagine the on in. So much convolution surrounding a rather small and uninteresting oh, decision that space. Is so wrong. So I like sulking. It still Love confuses it. me a little bit because these wheels move and they move every other wheel. They do. And um, and Mark always forgets what the four coloured wheels do. Um, but you can build stuff. You can feed in people's annoying, but you only have to do it four times in a game. Mm -hmm. You can mitigate that. Mm -hmm. You can get up on these temples if you want. There's lots of paths to scoring points. Yeah, you can't neglect corn unless you get some upgrades that let you neglect it a little bit more than normal. You can neglect corn it. is always handy because it lets you do more stuff on the other wheels. Yeah, but um, I like it. Like the first choosing first player is when mm -hmm. to snatch that first player is uh, very Kill vital. That as well. lets you do a one-time bonus D as well of double, double turn. wheel turn. That's like Ponzi scheme. It's a little bit like Ponzi scheme. It's a real move. That a real D move, as they say in the yeah. industry. So, yeah, sulking, I like it. it uh, um, why is it so so low? Why is it, why is it so low, Nick? Um, I didn't grok it as easy as the rest of you. I, I did get it, it though. I did get it, and I haven't played the expansion yet. I, st I, <laughs> I would have it in my top ten, definitely. Definitely Ooh, top ten. scenes. And I still haven't grokked it. I've played it a lot of times, and I still yeah. I haven't. It still baffles me. It still absolutely throws me. And it's it's beautiful. It's it's that sort of game where it might, might throw you throw. when you're playing players of equivalent standard or above. No, even when I'm playing with <laughs> idiots like you, it throws me. It just does. Anyway, seventy three sulking. Can't wait to see what you think about my next two, which are higher. Number seventy two is Gravwell. Ooh, right, all right, this. We just didn't get it, Mister Rule. Something went wrong here. Nobody in the group understood the strategy. Boring and slow. The concept doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm sure I could pretty much come up totally with does. a top 100 games that don't, concepts don't make sense. This totally makes sense. I think this borders on making more sense than most. Yes. Other than the card thing. The card thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like why that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, but it's by the bias. We played and the game took more than two hours. Immediately sold. Wouldn't play... If you gave me a million dollars, if I had a million dollars spare, I'd like to test you on that. Bet one. they would. I don't see how it's took more than two hours. Mm. I think they've played it wrong. Mm. I don't think yeah. it's possible, even if you play complete suboptimal moves. Just finish my drink, mate. That, that's all that thirsty. Eight, random. Hashtag race. <laughs> Somehow chaotic racing game. Too chaotic. If you can count, remember cards, you're a win. But for 99. Point nine no, no. That's nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine percent of all the people of pe of the people of the people. This is just a totally random racing game. I guess this was controversial. I guess this will be my third game that I will throw away. As the doorbell rings, ding dong. I'm, I'm, Simon will keep you. He'll tell you how oh, well, how Gravwell plays. I love live videos. I never put the lights on even. <laughs> Professional. This is so professional. I love it. I love how professional it is. Hasn't even left me any drink. Um, Gravwell. I, I don't even know how this works. He's left me a computer. I could just load anything on this. I could get his account shut down. Um, how does Gravwell? How do I? How do I even load? How do I scroll? I've lost them. Right, here we go. Images. Does that work? There we go. Images. So Gravwell, you are racing, it's a race game. You are trying to get to the centre of... Oh no, that's not the board, that's a different game, look. That might be version one. You're, you're actually trying to board. escape the centre though. You are, yeah, you're trying to get out of that, you're trying to escape yeah. the singular, singularity. Yes. I remember, see, it's been a while. That's the board, isn't it? Yep. Yep, so you're trying to escape the singularity from the centre 
and get to the end and you win. And you do that by playing cards. Which basically move towards the nearest ship or object. Yes, let's try and find And that's the key. Cards. Uh, cards, cards, cards. Cards. What made this um, go up on my estimations is that my son played it, who was about seven at the time, and pulled a slingshot manoeuvre off to win the game by one space that I had never even conceptualised before. So, like, he... I got a package from Cosmos Games, but and De Beer. It's got... Papu in, and I believe the new Escape Games. Exit Games. Oh, wow. Yeah, excited. Um, yeah, so he's, he made himself go back eight so he could play his nine next time because yeah, someone had yeah. shot in front of him, and it was just like... How have you... I didn't even and that's when when I saw that strategy yeah yeah the games are a bit with the because the highest alphabet goes first don't they mm -hmm. which can really that can throw you a little bit uh, but I think as well I think that's what makes it a shorter game I think it's yeah. probably designed in such a way that if you play through those alphabet yeah, yeah. cards you'll get through the game I don't really understand how the guys play for two hours no um, it's not a two hour long game it's definitely not two hours yeah cool well, you're in control now. Why don't you don't know how to do it, mate. What am I pressing? Uh, if you click down where it says 72. Yeah, that one there. So it lights up. No, no, no. Oh, this one That here. one on the list, yeah. There, yeah. No, up one. There. Uh-huh. Yeah. Click that. Now press down on the keyboard and return. That's the safest way to do it. Yeah, it's changed. It's exciting, and then yeah. click the tab on the far left. There. Viral! Oh. There is my 70. Uh, I like the looks. I like the, I like the fact you're in the body. I like being in a body. Um, read us a negative comment. I will do, yes. Which one did you pick? Is it that really long one there? Don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Area control game about taking over the human body with viruses. Count me in or not. Oh. During a round, two cards are played, dictating the actions you take. Well, say you play a brain card. Well, the next turn, you're not allowed to play the brain card until the subsequent turn. It's true. Hated that mechanic. Hated it. Made it feel gamey doesn't have quotation marks. I've added the quotation mark because I like a game that's gamey. I don't yeah, know about you. I like a nice I like I like I like to open up a box and find a dead pigeon. <laughs> that's exactly what I like. <laughs> Made to feel gamey and hard to defend territory. There are not enough locations to control, not enough cards to choose from. There are plenty of better area control games out of there out there. If you want a medium weight area control game, Sika El Grande. Or did it? Nos. Tammany Hall, just to name a few. Interestingly, this stayed in my collection over Ethnos. Did it? Mm. Mm, that is interesting. Mm. Not to mention this game is way too long for what it is. Uh, all the kind of gameplay complaints he had, outside of the kind of propaganda, yeah. <laughs> were the things I actually liked about it. That's the things I liked about it as well. <laughs> I like that you couldn't just go, I'm going to slam the brain twice because I want to keep it. Because that's... Uh, well, then you just, you just, yeah, yeah. It, it, you're holding on to one place. Yeah, which is other. kind of what other area control games do to yeah, you. know, you build up. This is one where you're moving, the pathways between the um, organs are sometimes one way, mm -hmm. so you have, to, you have to move around the body in a clever way. And if you over inhabit an area, you get flushed out by the uh, body's white blood cells. How, it, how the body flushes itself The body out. Flushes, flushes you out. Um, um, I, I, yeah, I really like this, and I really, that was the thing that I liked about it was that yeah. it's so tight and so hard to maintain control. You always had to watch for these yeah. um, flows, choosing what to sacrifice. However, mm. I think I would have Ethnos above it. Would you? Yes. Ethnos is easier to learn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, th I think that's why I would. Yeah. Have it. I can see that. That's yeah. a fair comment. Very different games, though. Very different. Yeah, very but different. Um, just because you mentioned it, I have yeah. ordered the billbox, bi the billbox of El Grande. Have you? Yeah. I look forward to that appearing on next year's <laughs> top 100 list. We'll see. Will it be higher than viral? Probably. Yeah. So, no, I really like this one. It's kind of... Uh, grab us a picture of the board, Simon. I will do, yeah. I'll find the it. Board, the board... Um, I've not worked out how There was some works. production problems because uh, my board, two of the boards I had were a bit ripped, but... Um, That's a nice one. Yeah, so this area down the left-hand side, that could be smaller, if I'm being yeah. picky. But that is your round order. That is, yeah. Um, so it's quite clear. And, um, yeah, maybe it could have been a thinner board with, with less, mm. with just the focus on the bit. I find that drew my eyes away from the kind of 
organs. Yeah, although although but, as the guy said and as we've said, it's a very small area control yeah, game, so yeah. you don't really want yeah. that to take over as well. Yeah. Um, and I like because it's so small. You've got the variability with which 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 areas are going to score the points. Uh, you've got your negative your events that come out and change it up a little bit, and you can. Uh, it's going up on that track, isn't it? That little track there is what makes you get... If you get too high on that, it's bad for you. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. It's a while since I've played it, but I remember there being a, a catch-up yeah. mechanic of yeah. sorts. Yeah. Um, which, again, I, I feel I liked. I don't yeah. think... It, sometimes with a catch-up mechanic, it's annoying and irritating, especially if you're out ahead. But I, I feel I quite like that one. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. So, uh, that is the... <laughs> Let, let's get it back on. Oh. I should be in control. You, of this yeah, yeah, you were better. I did a w way better job. Yeah, we're back on. We're back on. Wow. For all, uh, well, I bet Andrew's gone to pick up his. No, he, someone's still there. Someone's still there. This gets longer. We're ten minutes longer each you've, time. You've shuffled back into the centre as well. It's, it's real. Look at that. <laughs> no, it's the other way. Which way? No, you're right. You're back. Oh, in the I center. can't do this weird right. stuff. Amazing. Yeah, I didn't know where I was, so um, I'm going to go open my box. Um, I'm going to watch you open your box, gonna, and, and then should we should we play Pete Max? Let's play something. I've Let's got some games as well. Oh, yes. Cool. Well, that's good timing because the stream quality has just been lowered. See you next